Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today we have an unboxing and it is an actual box and it's one of these big white boxes from Craft Buddy. Not had one of these for a while but they have just brought out some of their new Christmas stuff and I just have to get it. So let's get into this box and have a look. Oh, hang on, let me just take my invoice out there quickly. You don't want to see that. Uh, even Hubby doesn't get to see that. <laughs> Okay, so let's take these items out and we'll have a look. It is a big haul, so you may need to get a cup of coffee if you want to pause me and uh, have a look. Okay, Ooh. oh, what's that supposed to be then? Oh, oh, right, okay. Ooh. That looks a bit odd, right, okay. Um, New Christmas cards and, oh, Liz. It wouldn't be an unboxing without a wreath. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at the wreath first. Seeing as that is the one that you can see. As you know, Craft Buddy Crystal Art do do licensed Disney products. So it is a Disney. You can legally uh, buy these. So you're not breaking any copyright. You can't sell the Disney items, unfortunately, because they don't have a license to allow you to sell them on, uh, but you can gift them. And I'm sure any little girl, big or small, would love a wreath with Disney princesses on. I've had quite a few uh, craft buddy wreaths in the past, and this is one of the new ones that has just come out. They have got a Bambi one as well, which again is licensed Disney. So they come with lovely boxes. Uh, really get great as a gift, really easy to wrap as well. If you like me at ra Christmas wrapping paper and things and fighting with them. Um, they're all... Okay, let's have a look at the back. So we get your contents as to what's included and then just a quick little pictorial guide telling you how to dime and paint. But let's get into this and have a look. I've not actually seen this one yet. Um, I think it will be featured on the web, on the YouTube. Oh, I don't want to come up on that side. Let me have a look at this side. We've got tape on there. Let me get my scissors. Um, or on Create and Craft TV seems to be their main um, television seller, shopping channel seller. So let's get into this one and have a look. Okay, ooh, I know I can spot something new for starters. Right. So it has a nice plastic packaging to keep it all safe as well. So if the box got wet for any reason, um, you've got a plastic bag keeping it all safe, which is good. Got some lovely sparkly drills there, which we'll have a look at. Oops. Have a new toolkit. This is really new. I've not seen this one before. They normally just used to have the basic with your green boat, your pen, and your little square of wax. So this is a one up. Let's have a look at this. Okay, looks like we've gone a bit uh, customised as well. So we have, yep, yeah, crystal art on a little pot of wax there, which is nice. Bit of branding, yeah. So just remember uh, to take the cover off your wax because uh, it will have a cover on the top there. You don't, <laughs> don't do like I do. did do when I first got one of these and I'm stabbing away thinking, why won't my pen go through my wax? And it's because there was a cover on it. <laughs> it wouldn't go through the cover. So it looks like we've got two little rounds of wax in a nice little branded pot there, which is lovely. I like that. I like branding two purple squishies right these are like a pen grip so when you're using your pens if you find that you have dexterity problems or if you like something a bit uh, thicker to get hold of or i found particularly we've had a really hot summer here in the uk and you tend to find that your hands get a little bit sticky and um, then having a pen grip it just saves your hands from sliding down your pens okay got branding again look crystal art on a nice white pen doesn't that look good the uh, lovely shiny purple there on the white background that really uh, 
does look quite professional, quite classy, I think we'll say. So you've got your brass tip single placer and then you've got your three placer on the end and we have two of those. So that's good. So you could do this with a friend or you've got two if you can do it. You know, some people are ambidextrous. <laughs> Not me, unfortunately. I have enough trouble using one hand to do things. I'm very clumsy. Uh, so I'll just pop these on there just to keep them all in one place. Okay, but yeah, there is enough here for two people to do this if you wish. Uh, quite nice if you're wanting to do a project with, say, little girls. Um, if your children are anything like mine, I used to uh, find that I was doing things and we used to have one of those, we used to get those, I don't know if you remember, they were like velvet art, they called them, and you coloured them in and you used to get these huge canvases and this little tiny pack of felt tip pens and we'd start in one corner and I'd end up with the kids, one, you know, all three of us doing it and I'd look up and one child had disappeared and then I'd look up and the other one had disappeared and I'd just be sat there doing it myself. <laughs> I can imagine that happening with these, but hey ho. All right, okay, so we've got two boats as well, which is handy. We've got a little flat bottomed uh, white boat. Um, the ridges only go up to sort of there, which I wish they went a little bit further up. But I suppose when you're doing a special drill project, you don't really need too much. But that's so you can pour your drills. And then instead of a green boat, we've got a white boat. So yeah, that's really good. It looks really classy, the purple and white together. And then a good amount, they usually include about 20. I'm not going to count them, but there's usually about 20 of your little grip seal bags there. So nice toolkit craft buddy, quite impressed with that. Okay, this is something that they've recently started doing as well, which is goodness me, how many colours? What have we got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30 different gems and colours on this. Wow. Okay, this is going to be fun. This is going to really bling. Lots of shading, I think, on this as well. So you get your little key code um, as a separate piece of paper. And then you do get your DMC numbers on these now as well. And as you can see there, it says the that's your picture of what you're doing and that's where you actually put your drills on so the faces don't have drills on it is just literally um, everywhere else it's like oh faces and hands so they tend to rather than make them huge um, or spoil the faces by putting you know the drills on they tend to not put the faces um, with drills on and just uh, leave the hands as well there so yeah, this I'm impressed with this. This is nice. OK, you do get your instruction sheet as well, which tells you how to diamond paint in four different languages. So if you fancy learning a new language. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. OK, pop that on one side over there. Let's put this toolkit back in here. I do like the toolkit. I'm quite impressed with that. Definitely uh, up to their game. I said they tend to be a higher price point for their diamond paintings and for their projects and things. But then to me, you are getting sort of like the top quality of things. They are really, really good. These are MDF wreaths. And yeah, we've got, oops, it right away. we've got licensed Disney on the back there to show you that it is licensed. It does have a hanger on it as well. So you don't have to worry about how you're going to hang this one. It does come already hung up there and yeah nicely cut out from a good thick mdf what i've done with my wreaths in the past because this one's green i will probably run a pro marker an alcohol pen around the edges because i don't like seeing the brown once i've done it i'll just put brown uh, green around the edge there so that it just covers that up and in the middle as well because i don't like seeing like the brown the mdf there as well I just think it makes it uh, the gems stand out a little bit more. You're not distracted by seeing any of the brown MDF edges. Let's give it a quick measure. Looks like a nice size one. So we are uh, 20, 
trying to get at the widest point about 26 27 centimeters which is 10 and a half inches that way and if we measure to the holly at the top there it is 30 centimeters which is 11 and three quarter inches okay so a little bit longer because of the holly there right and let's have a look at these drills it's starting to get a little bit dark in here so i do apologize I don't want to put the lights on because I think it will find that it gets too dark and then the sun comes out and it goes brighter again just to make me out to be a liar <laughs> okay so wow look at all these colours so we have uh, like a pea green and three different lilac shades which I presume will be Aurora uh, oh not four different lilac shades we've got a black and your red and your pink and your honey colours and blues and greens which will all be the wreath you can see these bags are a bit bigger and a lemon and an orange and a pink and aquas and blues and we've got an AB there on the white they seem to like doing the white ABs and they are a nice quality um, I've not really found many where the coatings come off sometimes you get ABs and the actual the iridescent coating has come off them uh, before you use them but i've not found that really with craft buddy and we've got a green crystal and a pale green crystal and then your special gems well oh we've got one little oh no three sorry i've got my fingers over them <laughs> three pink marquees with an ab coating um a few little green uh, gem marquees some gem marquees in like a goldy colour and then some slightly larger ones in blue and then some large round blue stones some faceted large round like goldy colour and then look at those pink ones I like the pink wow they've got like um i don't know like a pattern on them is that a pattern is that oh no that's the packaging <laughs> on the package it's coming through oh dear me if i had a brain i'd be dangerous <laughs> i'm thinking it's got pattern on it it hasn't <laughs> oh dear me they shouldn't let me loo through the camera <coughs> excuse me so yeah we've got uh, three half rounds there pink ab coated okay so that's your gems for your roof very uh, impressed with that. Do like the toolkit. So I'll just put those on one side for now. Okay, and I'll have a look at the other goodies that we've got. Oh, I've got that much crinkling plastic going on. So we'll have a look at this, which is a bit strange. Okay, it's oops, sorry, that's things falling over now. I've got that much in here. So let me see what they say about this one have a look at my it's a make and take tester kit so it's just like it's just a little extra add-on that i thought oh, i'll just um get one of these i've not had one of these before so i think it's just so you can try out be very good for children's parties uh, if you were wanting to you know have something for children to do as like a party game or um children do tend to have craft parties and things now so i've got a little owl in a tree which is very very cute it's like a playing card size and it is a very hard um card so you know it's not or is it plastic no it is it is card it's sort of beveled a little bit as well so it is like a credit card sort of idea but it's in cardboard rather than plastic so you've got craft buddy diy crystal art kit there so it's quite a cute owl but i don't like this um yeah i've seen too much of that <laughs> i went after it myself by accident so that's a bit naughty craft buddy i know there's only a few colors and i know you can probably pick out where they go but to just send it in a bag like that and then you've just got to sit and pick through the colours. Nah, not keen on that at all. No, got like that. 
don't very often find things negative about craft buddy because i do love them but no i don't like that and that means as well if you're wanting to save your gems afterwards once you've used this you've then got to sit and sift them all out into separate colors no don't like that at all don't like that idea please don't do that again um so then you've got your basic pen your wax and your boat which just your basic toolkit enough to do it yeah as i say i mean for you know like children's parties or whatever but uh, does it actually have yeah it does have letters on it um i don't know if you can focus camera focus there you are so it's got letters on it for the gems to go on but then you just get a bag of mixed gems I mean, you can work out what goes where, but if you are wanting to give these to children, then that is not very good at all. Mm. Okay, right, so that's that. So I think that's the first thing, really, that I've had from Crofty, that I'm not... Well, <clears throat> we won't talk about the custom paintings. <laughs> but, yeah, that's... That's... No, 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 no. And what did we pay for that one? Yeah, that was £2.49, so, um, yeah, I don't think I'll be ordering any more of those. Okay, so let's just pop the owl out the way. Right, and then the next thing is they've started doing Christmas card packs. So, rather than ordering the cards individually, you can now order them as a set of six, and... I just think that's really really professional spectacular and um, very impressed and it does work out quite a bit cheaper to buy them as a set and uh, let me have a look so yeah so it was 14.99 for the six and i think these are either 3.99 or possibly 4.99 each so you're saving quite a bit by buying the pack it does mean then that you have to have all of them um, and possibly I wouldn't have chosen all of them but because the pack meant that you did get them that bit cheaper I'm a sucker for a bag and so I got a set of six so let's have a look in these great for a present uh, I suppose you wouldn't really gift Christmas cards or maybe you would lovely packaging again licensed Disney okay so let's get these out and have a look they look like those Christmas card boxes that you can buy with all the mixed cards in don't they very professional looking let's see what uh, toolkit and everything we get in here okay so yeah like that oh yeah so we have okay we've got two pens with the crystal art on them we've not got a wax tub in this one if i'm getting to it <laughs> Liz is how not to make YouTube videos 101. Uh, it has a white tray. Oh, it has two white trays. Okay, so you can diamond paint with a friend again. And we're back to our wax squares, but they are the red wax. Um, they're not that see-through pink wax, which tends to be not quite as good. And again, I'm not going to count them, but as I said, the standard is usually about 20 of your little grip seal bags. So that's your little tool kit. Uh, your pens again have three places on, but there's no grippies in this either. So yeah, that's nice. So they're a good tool kit that they've uh, made their own tool kits now, which I'm impressed with. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we've got six separate little packets of gems, which will all go with the six different cards. We have... Okay, what's these? Uh, oh, look at that. Right, okay. So each card has a little key code and a picture of it. So it's showing you that they are all partial. Uh, we've got your stag there and it shows you what you're diamond painting. We've got Mickey. We've got uh, Winnie the Pooh. We've got Olaf here. We've got Timon and Pumba. And we've got Minnie. I presume it's Minnie because she's got her heels on. <laughs> never know these days um don't judge don't judge everybody's welcome here so we've got dmc codes for each of the gems 
we've got your how to diamond paint no we haven't we've got your contents here and it's just showing you pictures of all your different uh, <clears throat> some of the different projects that you can do okay so i don't like that idea that's that's really good so it means your gems if you do save them uh, you can put them into dmc code order and they actually do add numbers or dms i don't know whether the dmc codes or whether they are <coughs> excuse me i'm losing my voice today hooray shout so be um <coughs> uh they all their special gems do have code numbers on them as well so from one kit to the next you can then put your special gems into coded order as well which is really handy it's a way of keeping them in an order let's put that there um right we have six envelopes look like quite a good stamp there size envelope yeah they're your c6 a6 size card which is like a quarter of an A4 sheet of paper. Oops, we've gone a bit dull again, haven't we? I'll put that over there. Okay, so yeah, they're a good, a good quality envelope. They're not your real thin ones, so you're not going to see through your uh, car uh, to your card when you post them. If you do post them, and um, one of my tips that I do do when I post a card with gems on or with embellishments, I always do fold them inside out and put them in the envelope that way it just stops anything on this side getting damaged just a little tip there okay okay and i'm back <laughs> just uh, somebody putting a charity bag through i thought it was another delivery but hey ho that's what happens when you have a ring doorbell it just suddenly tells you that there's somebody at the front door right so let's uh, measure these cards and see how big they are and so Mickey is, so they'll all be the same size. Uh, that's four inches, which is just under 10 centimetres by 16 centimetres, which is six inches. So they're like a four by six photograph, um, standard size, just a C6 size. Okay, nice uh, size envelope just to go around as well. So that will fit in there easily. So we'll have a quick closer look. We've got a Mickey Mouse with a ho 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 around him. Very nice cheerful Mickey Mouse there. Uh, we've got Timon, Pumba and we have Simba on this as well. Now if they'd have all been just available individually these cards I wouldn't have bought this one because here in the UK we don't have holiday. Um, we have Christmas we don't have like Thanksgiving holiday or anything so wild for holiday doesn't really apply here unless you're sending it to somebody as like a, a have a lovely holiday card and they're actually going away on their vacation holiday and um, I suppose you can cut that off and um, I'll probably cover it over with something and use this on a, another card you know make a, a bigger card with this and um, that's what I generally do I very rarely just send a card um, as is and I do like to put my inserts inside as well um, I very rarely just you know right on this side of the card and um, so yeah it, it's not something that is particularly relevant here but obviously you know they do ship worldwide they do sell worldwide so they've got to cater for their uh, customers as well but it's very very cute and I don't like Pumba it doesn't make me laugh uh, we have an Olaf so yeah we've all got that song in our heads we want to build a snowman uh, and of course the other one as well but he's a very happy one very nice okay and we have a Winnie the Pooh I'm not going to sing um, and it looks as though Tigger has burst out of the snowman Pooh's caught the snowman's head we've lost his nose wherever that's gone but ER has ended up <laughs> absolutely covered in snow look at his face oh poor ER he's always a bit fed up and he's so cute and cuddly as well. And the little piglet's got a snowball there. Oh, but Winnie the Pooh's happy. He's got a lovely smile. But that's a great card. I like that one. We have a very sassy Minnie Mouse with... Uh, she's got a candle on her head. Is that a candle? Maybe a unicorn horn, I suppose. But uh, yeah, you could put a little bit of... She's got a candle on her head. <laughs> but she looks very, very pretty. 
and uh, yeah with her high heeled uh, boots on there underneath it's like um uh, skiing isn't it and she's got like um oh like holographic uh shiny snowflakes behind her as well to give her a bit more bling and then this one's quite dark and dull i think it's going to need a bit of blinging up this one we've got bambi and i'm presuming this is dad because he's a really big proud stag there um i know it'll have some different gems and things on it but that is quite dullish colors so it needs some good say maybe blue holographic card behind it just to make it pop that little bit more okay so that's the card i'm not going to go through all of the gems because i think you know you can sort of see the different ones that they've got in each packet so each one's come individually bagged so you could give one card to somebody to do you could sit and do these uh, with a friend or with children okay they've all got a mixture of your resin drills and your special drills as well your special shapes and things and if you're wanting to know which one belongs to which if you look on the back of the card there is a code number down here this one's number one so then you look on your packets uh, that one's number three that one's number four five that one's six and that one's number one so that's the and that one's number two yeah so we've got all six so that one goes with uh, that one you can see you've got your different drills got a lot of little uh, tiny marquees there with an ab coating so that's those and um, they are again all licensed disney so you can make and gift these but you can't actually sell them so if you've got a craft stall or something you can't legally unfortunately sell the disney cards but you are buying a legally licensed product oh, okay so let's get these put back into the box very nice six envelopes see if we can get all these gems back in as well yep they'll just fit in there i don't squash them okay and then the other items that i've got are all just some of the new individual cards they have brought out three larger christmas cards uh, the disney ones are 5.99 each so they are a considered purchase but you are getting a really good quality card and that's as i say great as gifts you know the packaging and everything is so professional with these you get your key code and your dmc codes on the back there as well so again if you're wanting to keep your gems and catalog them all then you can do You've got your kit contents there we'll have a look at this one i'm not going to take all of the cards out because we would be here all day so <clears throat> that's the previous disney ones i have got um, an unboxing of all of these cards and i have got videos showing most of these done as well if you do want to uh, check my catalogues um of videos you will be able to see those so this is a mickey and a minute she's giving him a big kiss for christmas oh oh we'll have to put some mistletoe on there you can't kiss at Christmas without a bit of mistletoe. <laughs> okay, so these are the larger cards, the large square cards, which are... Oops, let me just do the card. I've got the envelope stuck there as well. All fingers and thumbs today. So we are uh, 18 centimetres, which is 7 inches by 18 centimeters seven inches so they're a seven inch by seven inch square i tend to cut these fronts off and put them onto an eight inch by eight inch card um but obviously that's up to you i do also like to put an insert in as well just makes it look a bit posher <laughs> again nice good quality envelope that comes with it with uh, quite a bit of wiggle room so you know it's not really difficult to get it in and out of your envelope Okay, just put that one over there. Let's have a look at what else we've got in the kit. So I'll put the envelope back in there. I do like to keep these. <clears throat> and what I tend to do as well, once I've actually done my card, if I'm not sending it out straight away, I do just put it back into this little plastic folder and it just keeps it clean and tidy and stops you catching any of the drills. Okay. 
So we've got our little tool kit again. Seems to be oops, get these out. Sort of standard now to have the uh, branded pen with the three placer and the single placer. So I do like that purple shining against that white. It's really classy. Love that. Uh, 20 little baggies, a little square of red wax and a little white book. So you just get the one in these. But then I say you have only uh, <coughs> got one card to do. Pop those in there. I think with the pack you get two because obviously if you bought them individually you would get six boats, six pens, six lots of wax and you don't really need that to do them. So that's quite good that you've not got this a huge amount of bare extra pens and boats and things. Okay, so let's have a quick look at these drills. We'll have a look at this one but I won't go through all the others as I say. Right, so we have, ooh, again, a mixture of resin drills, and they are resin that um, Craft Buddy use. They aren't the acrylic drills. They are the better quality resin. We've got your black there, like a russety red, um, a cherry red, got like an orangey, yellowy colour, a bit paler colour, like a caramel colour. Oh, we've got some caramel chocolate. It's lovely. And we've got there, like a peach colour, and very oh that's a very different pink that's like a rosy pink nice white just a plain white and then in the gems we've got a green and then a red and um, faceted slightly larger with a few greens that have escaped into there look they've decided they wanted to join the reds there okay so that's those pop those in the back there Okay, so that's Mickey and Minnie. And then the other one I got is Winnie the Pooh, which again, I absolutely love. There is a third one and they do do a pack with the three in, but it was slightly cheaper to get, but that had sold out. So I just bought the two that I liked rather than buying um, the third one with them being the higher price point that I wasn't very keen on. Okay, so... This one doesn't have Tigger on it, it does just have Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore. But it says festive fun and I think that's lovely. Look at Eeyore's face. He's almost got a smile there, goodness me, I don't think I've seen Eeyore smile. But Pooh's smiling and little Piglet down here smiling as well. It's a really great card that one. They are partial so you only do um, the bit again that's the animals the main features the background you're not putting diamond paints on but you've got all special little gems look there on the lights that are hanging from the festive fun and across the bottom I and mean, that's really quite sweet i like that one okay i'll take the tool kit out again it's the same tool kit i don't like the fact that they give you the baggies um i'm not going to take all the gems out i think you can see your colours there and again you've got your mixtures of your resins and your crystals so i don't think we've got any a b's there no the whites are just standard white they all just look standard colours there so that's we need the poo okay just pop him back in his little pouch there and that one in there and then the other cards I got are from the uh, last Christmas card launch, which are just the standard Christmas cards. Um, they're a new range and it's just a selection. There are other cards available as well, but these are the ones that I really liked. Uh, there was a couple that were out of stock as well. But if you look here, these are, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 there are actually 10 new christmas cards um but i didn't particularly want the religious one i haven't really got anybody to send that one to at the moment um i haven't really got anybody to send the little kittens to which is a shame but i love kittens but um the santa was out of stock and the snowmen were out of stock as well so they're ones that i will be getting in the future um and then possibly the puppy and the little fawn. I'll be getting those as well. But I just got the four this time round um, just to make up my order. Okay, so let's just 
just I'll get into this kit and we'll just have a quick look let's say I'm not going to go through all the gems on all of them that's all uh, last year's Christmas cards which some of them I am doing at the moment and I have got unboxings on those as well if you do want to see those have a closer look at them if there is any of these that I, you see me opening that you do want me to show you the gems and um, I will do but I will do post reviews on them as well so you can see them okay got another super tool kit there I don't like those pens well done crash buddy on those okay so this is the two little fox cubs which is really sweet I mean this one you could send um, as a couple card to a special couple um, or anybody who likes foxes but look at that little fox asleep in the snow there and uh, that one's just sat up keeping an eye out or maybe he's just nosy uh, this is me and hubby I'm always asleep and never watching anything and hubby's always looking out the window to see what's going on <laughs> and then just the branches just have uh, your gems on as well there, just to highlight those, just to highlight your bit of snow. It's quite nice with these as well. Uh, it looks like we've got a couple of gems that are mixed in, but you can just put a little bit of glitter glue or put some um, of your craft buddy glue, uh, just some little tiny specks of it, and then just put some iridescent glitter on, some white iridescent glitter, and it just makes the sh snow sparkle that little bit more as well. If you do want to bling up your cards that little bit more, um, it's like, I'm, gonna say, I'm not going to open the gems, it looks like we've got an AB white in this one and again a mix of resin drills and uh, special crystals there but I say we've got an AB in this one and have we got, yep we've got all your DMC codes and your gem codes on the back of your card as well which is brilliant okay, last year's ones didn't have um, so you know you, you then start putting them into your own order but it is better if you can actually cut that catalogue them well it's better for me anyway so that's the little fox and then we have the donkeys which I absolutely adore donkeys we've met so many donkeys and fed so many donkeys and here um, I don't know whether they do it in other countries but it's quite a seaside tradition if you go to the seaside you have a ride on a donkey um, yeah we, and it's just something we like doing um and the park that we've got near us as well all of the grandchildren have all been for a ride on a donkey you don't go very far you just sit on the back and go up and down but it's great fun so again to a special couple or somebody that just loves donkeys but i just think they look so sweet with the little noses together and then it looks like your trees and your little wreath here all get blinged up as well but that's uh, a lovely card there again you've got your code number on the back so if you're worried about your gems getting separated from your cards all the packs of gems do come with your code number on there as well so you can match up to make sure you've got the right ones i tend to just keep them uh, with the envelope in the little packet oops that one's got a little spare one as well the same packet there and I, tend to say, I just tend to keep them together until I've done the kit and then what I do as well is um, keep the cards obviously because you need that for your DMC codes for cataloguing as I've done each card I put the gems into the back of the card until I've put them away so it just keeps them together um, because they're all um, card specific so the number one on this one won't be the same as number one say on the foxes each of these key codes relate to this card they don't relate to any other albeit you've got your numbers it doesn't necessarily mean that that will be the same as the other one sorry i'm probably not explaining that very well i'll maybe have to do it a bit better when i'm putting them away i'll do a de-kit in and show you and then three little blue tits on this one on a nice sort of like red uh, probably a wrought iron fence that with all the scrolls there i just thought this was really christmasy <clears throat> excuse me i do like our garden birds uh, we'll be starting to put all the food out again they're not eating much food at the moment standard uh, standard craft buddy toolkit not a standard toolkit uh, yeah we are putting starting to put a bit more food out again after all the babies had gone from the birds then uh, they do stop sort of like coming to the garden quite so much 
um, but yeah as winter comes along they will start coming back again so yep yeah, we've got all the fence to do all the holly berries down the side and all the birds to do as well on that one really pretty and again a mix of oh this one actually looks like it's practically oh no we have got we've got an a b white just in there you can just see that we've got a resin brown there and a resin black but it looks like everything else is crystals so it looks like the fence is going to be crystals on that one that one's going to be very very blingy okay oops and cut away okay. and then the last one i just thought this one was really cute this is a little robin and a little squirrel 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 <laughs> making up my own words now same toolkit and they're just having a little chat by the plant pots as you do so we've got some fallen it's like it's possibly a fallen apple there um stuck in the snow and a squirrel got a little pine cone there and some little berries and some holly and some plant pots so the robins sat on the plant pots and they're, they're maybe working out who's going to have the berries and who's going to have the pine cones and splitting it between them looks like um the squirrel's possibly got a bit of pine cone in his little uh, paws there oops sorry it's gone dark again the sun's gone in again it's just one of those days for filming today and then we've just got all the little leaves there with the berries we've got a tree that has um the berries on it it's got a lot of berries at the moment i have to keep cleaning them up though because i don't want millie our little scotty to uh, eat them she's uh, apt to start trying stuff so I do like to keep the garden as clear as possible. So yeah, so that's my little craft buddy haul. Okay, a quite large craft buddy haul really. <clears throat> it's taken us a while to go through them. So we have one, two, three, four of the standard cards and two of the larger Disney Christmas cards and six of the little Christmas cards and then we have the Disney Princess Christmas wreath so I better get cracking on these Christmas will be here sooner than you know okay well I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me I've got all this to sort out and tidy up now so thanks for coming along and seeing them if you've enjoyed seeing these if you just press that little like button uh, it just lets me know that you've enjoyed it and if you can press that little bell down here and the little subscribe button it just notifies you when any of my next videos come up and uh, you'll be able to see what I get up to next so thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.